Hey, it's Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your data frame for an experiment with an unbalanced design. So here I have two factors, iodine, and the other factor is silver, which has five levels. Iodine has two levels. And this is an unbalanced design because the measurements for each combination of the levels, we, we haven't got equal number of observations. So this combination A and 1 here, two observations. Next one, two observations. But then here for level 1 and level C for silver, we've got three observations, two, one observations, three, two, no observations, one observations, no observations. So this is called an unbalanced design because they're un because not all these cells have the same number of observations. So setting up this uh, data frame here to create the factors we can't simply just use the GL generate levels command just by itself as I showed you for the balanced design case in another video. To use something like the AOV command for analysis of variance we want the data in the long format as opposed to the wide format. Long format means that all I have one column which contains all my measurements and then separate columns for the levels of the factors and separate columns for each factor. So the first thing is I want to enter create a column of the DV the dependent variable of the measurements. And I can arrange them by um, the levels of iodine or by the levels of silver. If I own by the levels of iodine, it means that I stack up all these values, which are for level 1, one underneath each other, followed by all these lots. In this case, I end up with data set like this look. So in this case 23, 42, 30, 50, 55, 23, 40, 30, 30 50, 5 and you can see level 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and then you put these lot underneath there like that so you get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now this is not the only way to do it because what I've shown you in this data set is that they've taken this column and then put this co underneath it and then this value underneath there. That will give you all the level 1 of iodine. But instead I could have put 23 followed by 26. So up here 23, 26, 42, 42, 30, 20. So in other words I could have had it um, by, um, by the levels of silver. So A, A, B, B and so on. But here since they're stacking this one below that one, that one below that one, you see this is the kind of pattern you're going to get. One's coming up here, you're going to get A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, and so on. So up to here is for all this lot. So just look at it. It's probably easy for you just to pause the video and look at the where we're heading rather than me trying to explain it to you. Likewise, then we do the same for the level 2 of ID. So it's ordered by, if you look at the pattern, it's ordered by the levels of iodine. Alternatively, I could have ordered it by levels of silver. So this is ultimately the data frame that I want. And uh, this is one I've done earlier. I'm going to show you how I now create this thing from the raw data set here. Okay, first I enter the values of the DV, so let's put this in to create a vector called W. 23, 42, going down column-wise here like this, 30, 50, 55, and then move to the next column because I'm doing all of level 1 of iodine, 26, and so on. Next I have to create the levels for say iodine. What we can see here is that level 1 is repeated 10 times and level 2 is repeated 6 times. So let's create a, vec a factor here. 
So we create a, a variable, um, a vector, iodine, iod for iodine, and then here you go. This is one way of doing one level one ten times, level two six times by using the rep command. And as I'm doing this video, I forgot to mention, I'm assuming that you've watched the one for balance design where I use the same kind of commands and explain it in more detail. So enter now. Okay, this at the moment is not a factor, so we convert it into a factor. Use factor or as dot factor means the same thing. So I can do this or I can do that means the same thing. And obviously now it is a factor, but if you want to check, is factor iod true? Okay, if we look at the content of that, there you go. One ten times, level two six times, and the levels one two. Now that's the easy one because they come together in a row like this. One or that. This is the harder one because look, look at the pattern: A B C D E, A B C D C, A B D A B A. I'm going to show you two ways how I can do this. One is the is uh, just purely by listing, which is not great, but it'll get the job done. So here I create.